How does it feel? Well, I'm, I'm honored about it. I grew up there here at Charlton, and, uh, and I've coached for this is going in my 25th year. Now, I'll, my whole career has been with Charlton under Coach McWhorter, and, you know, I've learned some good stuff, been fortunate to be part of the state championships, you know, the good times and some of the bad times. Uh, and it, it feels great. I've got good community or great community support. You know, all guys kind of root for the hometown guy when I put in for it, and I, I felt like I paid my dues, and they felt like I paid my dues too. Been around as long as I have, but it's, it's been great. Been busy. It's a whole lot different being a head coach than assistant coach. I was sure. going to say, how, learned how, a lot of stuff, and how, still how, learning every day. I was going to say, how different is it? It's, it's very different. It's very different. You move, you move away from the coaching aspect one on one more so, and then having to run a program, and that's that's the thing I'm I'm learning how to do is run a program. You know, Coach McWhorter established a great program and just trying to just keep it going like it is and, you know, of course, advance it too, you know, and, and uh, that's, that's, it's difficult, you know, not doing it. I'm learning every day. Every is, he, day. is he on speed dial? He is on speed dial. He is, he is. He's a good friend. You know, you don't work with somebody for 24 years and not be a great friend. He was. He was a great friend. Still is. What's know? the biggest lesson that he taught you as a head coach that has stuck? Uh, being organized, being organized, um, you know, and he, he was, oh, he was, boom, 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 boom. I wished I was as organized as he, as, he, as he was with us. And, you know, as long as you got a plan about things, things seem to fall in that plan. And, you know, if, you, if it doesn't exactly fall in there, you can, you can bend it a little bit. But, but that's probably the biggest thing. And loving the kids, you know, he really cared about the kids. And, uh, you know, and that, that, that takes you a long way. I think a kid that, if he truly knows he cares about you, Though the head coach cares about the kid, he's going to he's going to work for you and work for the team. Those Expe are two things. Expectations this year would be what then? Our expectations uh, kind of goes goes this way. Uh, we're, we're, we're graduation really hit us hard last year. Inexperience is going to be the biggest hurdle we have, but our attitude and our uh, about things, it, you know, our character as far as getting things done, working real hard, we are. Don't, I really, it's kind of a mystery about it, but, but I do know that one thing that we do every day is our goal is to win today. No matter what, if it's in the weight room, if it's in the classroom, practice, and it'll be games. You know, when we, we scrimmage this year against Camden in the, in the spring, it was to try to win that day. You know, do the best that you can, you know, and if you win today, you, and you, can try, you win the weeks, you know, the months, the years, and the life. You know, that's the whole thing. Just trying to win what we have ahead of us. One of the interesting things is that in the past, the schedule has included Frederica. Yes. And to have that kind of a crossover, you don't see that a lot, but I've always thought the challenge was challenge regardless of the that's team right. that you were playing. Well, you know, uh, they're, they, they play in a whole different organization as GISA, uh, at, but I'm telling you what, that team, that team could have made a lot of noise in the, in the JHSA this year. You know, they were... Because we played Cam, oh not Cam, I'm sorry, Clinch and Irwin, who played for the state championship. That team was something else. I mean, we barely, we barely squeezed out a win. In fact, one of the guys I have with me right now picked off a ball with like, I don't know, like two minutes left, and that secured the win. But you know, they, oh, they're 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 outstanding, they're outstanding team. So then you're getting to do this in the toughest region in single A, the region of Doom. <laughs> What's it like being a head coach in the region of Doom? Well, now? I haven't went through it yet. But I know as an assistant, it, 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 it's something now. You know, you know, we've been at the top of it. Now we're, now we're finishing third. A lot of people would, oh, great, third in the region. That's fantastic. But, you know, we want to get more than that. But, it's, but when you've got two great teams ahead of you, like Clinton and Irwin, the way they're playing right now, it's, it's tough. But we're, we're, we're making progress, like I say, every day. We're trying to win it. And I think we're making progress. We might not make it this year, but one day I think we will. You know, uh, one day I think we will.